Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss the Detroit Lions, a football team that holds a special place in my heart. Unfortunately, they faced a tough defeat this past Sunday, losing 38-6 to the Baltimore Ravens while playing away. It's really disappointing and I'm sure many of you feel the same way. In the wider world of football, people are beginning to reassess their expectations for teams, particularly after such a significant loss. Normally, teams that compete in the Super Bowl don't find themselves in a position where they're losing 35-0 during the regular season. While I understand this perspective, it's important to remember the progress Detroit has made over the last few seasons. They had a rough start last season with a 1-6 record, but they managed to turn things around and finish with a 9-8 record. This is quite an achievement, and it is not something that many teams can do. The Detroit Lions are creating something truly unique. From the team culture and roster to the coaching and management, they are building a strong foundation that I believe will lead to great success. Despite the loss to Baltimore, the team has a chance to bounce back in their upcoming Monday night game at home against the Las Vegas Raiders. The Raiders are currently one of the more desperate teams in the NFL, and it will be interesting to see how Detroit responds to this challenge. However, for Detroit, the important thing is how they respond and move forward. I still have faith in this team and believe they are one of the top three teams in the NFC and definitely a strong competitor against teams like the Dallas Cowboys. Is Looking ahead, if Detroit wants to beat top teams like Philadelphia and San Francisco, they need to secure the number one seed, or at least figure out a way to prevent such heavy losses from happening again. However, it's worth noting that the team is already performing above expectations this early in the season. Before we continue, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more NFL content. Now back to the Lions. The team culture and energy are something special, and it's important for them to maintain them, especially after a loss. The next game provides an opportunity for a strong comeback, and ideally, the team will be 6-2 heading into their bye week, positioning them as one of the top teams in the NFC. The NFL trade deadline is also approaching, and we've heard from the Lions coach, Dan Campbell, that they don't want to disrupt the team's current vibe. I agree with this sentiment. While bringing in a star player like Chase Claypool might seem tempting, it's important to consider the team's current dynamics. Instead, I believe the Lions should focus on strengthening specific positions without disrupting the team's balance. For example, bringing in a veteran cornerback like Marcus Peters could add experience and skill to the roster, enhancing the team's performance. Additionally, focusing on strengthening the edge rusher position could also be beneficial. A player who can consistently put pressure on the quarterback would complement the team's current talents and contribute to the Lions' overall success. In summary, despite the recent loss, the Detroit Lions have shown significant improvement and have the potential to be one of the top teams in the NFL. The upcoming games and trade deadline decisions will be crucial in determining their success for the rest of the season. Thank you all for watching, and please share your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Lions content, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, and goodbye for now.